Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Today I'm going to show you a little scenario around client folders with unique permissions. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a standard SharePoint library. I'm going to add a Power Automate workflow to that library to set the permissions on folders as they're created, and then talk a little bit about the permissions and so on and how they work. So I'm just going to start off with a default SharePoint document library, so I just created a blank library here, no change of settings, I'm just going to create a folder. And I'm just going to call this folder here, um, demo um, client. And when I create demo client, I just want to show you um, how, how the permissions look on this folder. So right click, manage access on the folder, and you'll see over here I've got a bunch of um, people that can access the folder, including the control document portal, um, uh, visitors, and members. Now what I want to do is I want to actually ensure that the members and visitors can't see these files, but my specific salesperson who is responsible for the account can. So that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going to the cog and I'm going to change the default library settings on this library. Um, so into library settings, and then in library settings I'm just going to zoom in here into the permissions for this library. Click that item. That's going to take us into the permissions screen, and from here I'm going to use a feature at the top of the library. Sorry, I've gone back into the uh, back there. Let's zoom my screen. In. Let's try that again. Okay, so from the top of my library, you'll see it's got this option here called Manage Parent and Stop Inheriting. If I choose Stop Inheriting, it's now going to give me unique permissions on this document library. So remember, do this and be very careful which library you're in when you do it. Choose my visitors and members, and then I'm going to remove them from the library. So now I've got a library with unique permissions that only the owners of the site can access. Right, so that's the first step. The next step, I'm going to go back to my library, is then create a Power Automate workflow. So this workflow is going to set a unique permission on the folder as it's created. So from Power Automate, I'm going to choose Create a Flow. And from the templates, I'm just going to um, show more. And I'm going to scroll down until I find the one down there, which is uh, to complete a custom action um, when an item is created, uh, which is around here somewhere. Uh, when a file is added she, uh, to, in SharePoint, complete a custom action. So I'm going to choose that one. So this means automatically when an item is created, set the custom permission on the item. So the next step, once we've got this, um, we're starting this, is to just grant permission to Power Automate to access SharePoint. So I'm going to go continue here. And then from that screen, we now have a workflow with a single action. So this is just an action that triggers uh, when a file is added to the my to my control document site in my client's folder. As you can see there if I just zoom that a wee bit. Um, and now if I add a step into this workflow, I'm just going to choose a SharePoint step. And if I choose SharePoint underneath the actions for SharePoint, you'll see there's quite a lot of them. There is one in here called grant access to an item or folder. So all I need to do now is specify my site, specify my library, clients, the ID of the selected item, my recipient. Now in my recipients here, I'm going to choose to add a recipient in. So I'm going to add in a guy called Admin Steve, my admin account. Um, I can give this account a specific role, so this could be any user, and you could even get this user from the metadata, so it could be perhaps um, driven from a form or something like that. I'm going to give Steve edit permission. Um, I can optionally email Steve with a message, but in this case I'm just going to say no, I don't want to notify, I'm just going to set the permission up. And I'm just going to go save. So by doing that, whenever the item is, a new item is created, uh, it is now going to run that workflow and grant admin Steve permissions. So if I run create a new folder, I'm just going to call this one here um, ABC Limited and create. Now it does take a, a few seconds for that workflow to run in the background. What that workflow is going to do is it's going to trigger because a new item is being created and it's going to basically set that permission on the item. Over in flow, we just have a wee lock here, refresh this. And as I said, it take, can take a moment or two for it to work. Tell you what, if I go back into SharePoint and look, I bet you by the time we look at it, the permission is there. So if I go Manage Access, you'll see that it has now got unique permissions on here, and my admin account has been granted access to this library. 
So if I go back out in there and go over into my flow and check the runs, run history, you see it, see it has run successfully. I can see that it's run by clicking on it. I can see the steps that's passed, tick, tick. Perfect. So now I've got a little system here for adding um, metadata automatically to files. What I could do is I could modify this process to work off a metadata column, so I could make it for the selected item, read a metadata column, and then use that to assign the owner to the file for sharing. Uh, or I could do something um, with a form as well in the background, so I complete a form, create an item, share the folder for requesting, say, a new supplier, for example. Anyway, hopefully this has been uh, helpful. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please look at my other ones on my channel. Uh, click subscribe down the bottom, and um, yeah, thanks very much, and we'll see you for the next one.